My early season takes on the Raptors have not aged well so far. And right now, I don't know what's going on. I was actually feeling okay about the Raptors going into the weekend stretch against Orlando. But after back-to-back -back losses to the Magic, and I'm starting to have some real concerns with this team. Losing back-to-back -back games to one of the worst teams in the NBA is simply unacceptable for a Raptors team that had high hopes coming into the season. Right now, the Raptors are 13-14, and 14, and we've now gotten a fair enough sample size. What's going on, everyone? Luca Rosano here back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the state of the Toronto Raptors and what's going to happen down the stretch. If you guys can kindly hit a like on the video, it does help it a ton. Please subscribe to the channel for more Raptors content and more NBA content as well. Two games in Orlando against the struggling Magic look like a great opportunity for the Raptors to gain some momentum. I mean, the Raptors had just beaten the shorthanded Lakers. You look at the schedule and you're thinking to yourself, what a great opportunity for the Raptors to go on a three-game winning streak before they take on some good teams. Wrong. The Raptors blew a great opportunity by dropping back-to-back -back games to a Magic team that had the NBA's worst record as the Raptors arrived in Orlando on Friday. The Raptors did overcome a huge deficit, but fell short on Friday, and then on Sunday looked terrible in another loss to the Magic. The Raptors played without OG Ananobi, who missed his game due to left hip soreness. The Raptors' offense has looked putrid. They have been the worst three-point shooting team in the NBA since November 4th, a stretch of 19 games in which they've shot just 29.5% from deep. They were 6-25 on Sunday, which is on par for them. But if you want to win in a three-point driven league, you can't be shooting that poorly and expect to win games. The Magic outscored the Raptors by 24 points from the arc on Sunday. What has also been bad is the Raptors' road record, which is now 3-11. This team cannot win a damn road game to save their lives. Scotty Barnes had 11 points on 3 of 13 shooting and grabbed only 2 rebounds as he continues to get over the hump in his second season. Barnes just seems off right now. He's been missing layups and at times he looks like he's just been going through the motions. Fred Van Vliet has been a far cry from his all-star self. He has not shot the ball well this season. His shooting numbers have been bad lately. And I want to talk about these two players in particular because I said going into the season, if the Raptors wanted to be amongst the best in the East, Fred had to play like an all-star again, which hasn't happened. And Scotty Barnes had to take a leap, which hasn't happened yet. Now for people giving up on Scotty Barnes already, you have to chill. I still believe in Barnes and I think he will figure this out. He's only 21 years old. And remember, Jason Tatum had a really bad sophomore year and he's turned out pretty damn good for the Celtics. Now, I'm not comparing Barnes to Tatum, but what I am saying is you need to give young players ample time. OJ Ananobi has taken that leap, and he's been the second best Raptor for this season. We already know Siakam has been solid, and Gary Trent Jr. has had an up and down year. The team energy is bad right now. Energy is not there on offense or defense. No consistency. The Raptors, they need some scoring guards and a center, as Christian Coloco, he clearly needs more time to develop. And the bench has been confusing. Nick Nurse has kept it short, and I know Nick nurse is starting to feel the pressure as well with all of this losing the raptors actually had a long practice on saturday afternoon on what otherwise could have been a day off and what did they do they fell completely flat on their faces on sunday the raptors have ambitions to compete at a high level and if this team continues to trend downwards we could see some changes coming NBA teams are reportedly keeping an eye on the Toronto Raptors in case they decide to make some significant trades this season. According to ESPN's Zach Lowe, rival executives are, and I quote, watching Toronto closely and bracing for fireworks, close quote, if the Raptors continue to hover around the 500 mark for the next couple of months. Lowe added that teams are wondering if the Raptors might be willing to move players such as Fred Van Vliet, Pascal Siakam, Oji Nanobi, or even reigning NBA Rookie of the Year Scotty Barnes. I mean, it's fair to think, even if the Raptors are healthy, are they really good enough at this point to compete with the likes of the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics, who right now are in a tier of their own? If Masai Ujiri decides to make a major move down the stretch, Fred Van Vliet and Gary Trent Jr. are perhaps the top trade options since both can opt out after the season. You look at the Raptors for the remaining of December, and I think this is going to be make or break for them. So these are the Raptors' December games to close out the year. They got the Kings, the Nets, the Warriors, the 76ers, the Knicks, the Cavs, the Clippers, Grizzlies, and Suns. With how the Raptors have been playing lately, how many games... Do you see them 
realistically winning. The good news is most of these matchups are at home where the Raptors have played well overall. The bad news is these are matchups against solid teams. And I mean, before you rip on the Knicks, they do got a better record than the Raptors right now. And they are on a four game winning streak. Now I'm not ready to go into full blown panic mode, but the way the Raptors end this year could dictate a lot. This is a team that had high expectations coming in and was banking on internal growth from its team. But right now the Raptors seem like a team that's gotten worse while the East has gotten better. So we'll see if the Raptors can figure it out and turn their season around like they did last season. Remember, the Raptors were stumbling a little bit towards the end of last season, and then they really hit another level to begin 2022, and we know how that season ended for them. But if not, it could be an interesting 2023 for the Raptors. So overall, I mean, it's been disappointing. I know a lot of Raptors fans expected the Raptors to be a lot better than this, and they did not expect the Raptors to be... A team right now a game below 500 and a team that seems like it's fighting for its life at this point just to stay in the play-in I mean you look at last season the Raptors turned a lot of heads they played really well they finished fifth and they really had overall I would say a good showing against the Sixers if they remained healthy in that series I really believe the Raptors would have ended up winning that series but you go to this season they've stumbled out of the gate now granted they've had some injuries some guys dealing with sickness to worry about, but so far it has not been the type of season that many of us expected. So I will give the Raptors the benefit of the doubt. Let's hope once this team gets fully back and healthy, they can hit a stride. And let's see if this team can go on a bit of a winning streak and gain some momentum here and, and look like the Raptors of old and some of these critical matchups coming up. But if some of the same issues continue to linger, there are going to be some growing concerns with this team. And I think it is fair to assess and speculate whether or not this team could make a move come next year's trade deadline if they remain a 500 team, an inconsistent team. So we'll see what happens with that. But hopefully the Raptors can figure this thing out quick. And let's see if the Raptors can turn the ship around. But right now, it is not looking good for the Raptors. It has not been good. Uh, this is pretty bad right now with how the Raptors have been playing. And I think right now the Raptors are in some serious trouble and they got to work hard to get out of it. So that is just my two cents on the Toronto Raptors. What's your reaction been to this Raptors team thus far, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. I know a lot of you have a lot that you want to say about the Raptors. So let me, let me hear it. What do you honestly make of this team as we are now 25 plus games in to this season? That is it for me, everyone. As always, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. And thank you so much for watching. This is Luca Rosano signing off, and I'll catch you all again in the next video.